here in the Muse studio at the Children's Museum of New Hampshire and we have been making our own liquid watercolor. So there are a few really easy steps to make your own liquid watercolor. First we went around the museum and we found all the dried up markers. So these were markers that we weren't going to be using anymore because they were all dried up and they weren't drying very well. And we just put them in cups with a little bit of water. And as you can see in this cup, there's all different shades of pink. We were not picky about which shades we put in. We just put them all together. So these have been soaking for a week. So now it's time for step two. Step two is pretty messy. So I put my gloves on because as you can see, I've been working with orange and yellow and blue and red and purple, all these watercolors. So it's not on my hands, it's on my gloves, which we like. So step two is to take a marker and I'm gonna cut this end off. Now this is a little tricky because remember they don't want this end to be able to come off. It's not supposed to come off. So you get that off and as you can see in the marker, look at all that color coming out. That's amazing. It's all that color that we're gonna be putting in our watercolor and we're gonna pull out the marker color strip here. And then I'm going to cut that in half to make it easier to squeeze. And then in this cup I just have a little bit of water and I'm going to squeeze it in there. And look at all of that color coming out of there. There's tons of color to be had. And then I'm going to put this aside just in another cup. I'm going to squeeze the rest of this guy out. So I will do the rest of this with the rest of the markers. but. You don't need to see all the markers. <laughs> so this step is just kind of if you have a lot of markers and you want a lot of liquid watercolor like we do here at the museum. If you were just doing it at your house, you could just do this amount that you get from soaking markers. This isn't a necessary step, but it does get the most watercolor out of the marker possible. So then we'll soak these guys and it'll look something like this. These have been soaking for a little while and that gets even more of the color out of the color strip that was in the marker there. So from soaking our purple markers, which is this, we got this much watercolor paint out of soaking our purple markers. And that was from soaking the color strips, from soaking the markers themselves. And this is the second soak for these guys. And I'm just gonna pour it in. It's a little bit lighter. And then we have a whole cup of liquid watercolor paint. And that will fill up Something like this. That's orange. That's orange. And it's really, really dark because it's so concentrated. So this will last us a, a long time. So that's how we're making liquid watercolor in the studio. We'll update you more on other ways we're trying to be sustainable here in the Muse studio and give you other great ideas to try at home.